When it comes to rivalries, it doesn't get much bigger than New York and Boston. So imagine the shock for law enforcement when they learned a top New York mob boss was running New York mob business, not in New York, but in Boston. Fox 25's Bob Ward brings us inside this eye-opening story. The guy at the center of this is a career criminal named Ralph DeLeo, and he's old school. He served time for bank robberies, kidnappings, extortion, even murder. The feds in Boston first learned about DeLeo in 2008 when agents in Arkansas told them a Boston mobster was taking delivery of two kilos of cocaine. Well, Boston FBI soon learned this was no ordinary Boston mobster. This was a made member of the New York Colombo crime family, running family business in Boston. In late 2009, some of the biggest names in the New England Mafia gathered at an East Boston restaurant after a wake and talked business. According to a federal indictment, as the men broke bread, they discussed a number of family matters, including how exactly to split money extorted out of Rhode Island strip bars. There was one mafia leader who was only a few miles away and probably not invited. His name, Ralph DeLeo. And there's a simple reason he wasn't in East Boston that night. The feds say Ralph DeLeo was a made member, a street boss of the New York Colombo crime family. This is the first time that I've ever seen an, the uh, acting street boss of a New York-based crime family uh, in another area. I've never seen that before. FBI Special Agent Todd Richards is a member of the Boston Organized Crime Task Force. And as he sits down with me, Special Agent Richards reveals for the first time that this unassuming 70-year-old man who lived in a basement apartment in Somerville was not only a powerful mob figure, he was conducting New York crime family business in Boston. Mr. DeLeo was responsible for um, all of the uh, daily criminal activities for the Colombo crime family, which is based in New York. But he's doing it here in the Boston area. He's doing it from Boston under the radar screen. In the old days, working on another family's turf could spell big trouble. But Ralph DeLeo, Agent Richards tells me, was different. He was a lifetime friend of a top aide to the late New England mob boss, Gennaro Angiulo. And while in prison years ago, DeLeo forged ties with the Colombo crime family. While in prison, uh, Mr. DeLeo um, becomes a confidant of Ali Boy Persico, who is the acting boss of the family at the time because his father Carmine the Snake Persico is also incarcerated. So because of that association, Mr. DeLeo is well respected and upon his release from prison at some point, uh, he becomes a made member of the Colombo crime family based in New York. The feds say Ralph DeLeo was mostly a telecommuting crime boss, but two or three times a month, DeLeo would physically travel from Boston to New York, sometimes by car, sometimes by plane, and conduct mob business. Back at home near Boston, DeLeo played it cool. He was actually a hard worker. Um, he was a, a maintenance man for a local company. Um, he put in, um, you know, he put in a full day's work. And he, then he went home and he got on his computer and he read about the Colombo family and he was very much involved in the daily activities uh, of the Colombo family. On Hanover Street in Boston's North End, those political ties to two crime families gave Ralph DeLeo enormous respect and allowed him to run New York from Boston. He was unafraid to walk down the middle of Hanover Street in the middle of uh, a Saturday afternoon. He was a serious guy uh, and, and people were afraid of him. In recent years, high-level New England mob boss have left the local LCN reeling, creating a leadership vacuum. The mob might be down, but it's not out. And that leaves the question, who will next lead the Boston mob? A local guy or a New Yorker? I don't believe the Colombo family is here. Um, I have not heard of another member of the Colombo family being here. Um, but we have looked at that in, in with much closer scrutiny uh, after we uh, learned that Mr. DeLeo was operating in this uh, area of operation. In November, Ralph DeLeo was sentenced to 20 years for his conviction on racketeering and gun charges. What his arrest and long jail term means for the future of the New England mob and the Colombo crime family? Well, that remains to be seen. I'm Bob Ward, Fox 25 News.